Hi again, everybody, and welcome back to Ask the School OT. Um, if you are enjoying these videos and you like the content and it is helpful for you, please subscribe and also visit AskTheSchoolOT.com. And I promise I'm going to become more tech savvy at some point and be able to do some uh, little more high quality graphics. So today what I want to talk about is how occupational therapists support the written expression um, process in the school setting. Um, for many of you, your role may just be limited to the handwriting part of supporting written expression, but I know with my population of students, I will support all these areas. I will work on the handwriting. I also work with the instructors, uh, the teachers, intervention specialists to develop appropriate visual supports for the students that um, help their thought process depending on their developmental level. And also we work on the assistive technology and um, you know, really trying to find anything I can that will help a student be able to get their thoughts out um, and express their knowledge of subject matter um, in some kind of form. So what I'm gonna do is, again, we're gonna be showing, I'm gonna show you some handwriting samples here. Um, this is one of my most recent work samples from this young man. And again, this is kind of, unfortunately, it hasn't changed too much um, since the beginning of the year. Now, his spacing has definitely improved. Um, I don't have to, um, we've kind of resolved that issue because at the beginning of the year, it was more of, you know, kind of the, the one long line of, of letters and you couldn't really tell where one word started and the other word ended. So we've resolved that issue. He's very good at spacing now. We've you know gone over that over and over. But for him, um, he's a reluctant writer and he just has a really hard time formulating what he wants to say out of thin air. And um, then the spelling, he just really, really struggles with spelling. So I wanted to show you this as an example of um, you know, we had some picture cues and he had to just expand on it. We were talking about adding more details with the little group I was working with. So what he wrote is, the boy called his grandma to see his hermit crab. But you can see, you know, letter reversals and the spelling that are negating um, the overall, again, the overall readability of what he wants to say. Here's an earlier um, sample. And what you see here is, um, you know, some improvements. Um, he did not use the speech to text, text. He was just writing from the picture cues. So um, I think I helped him with spelling several of these words because usually things like folder, that would be a little bit more um, tough for him. But again, he does have some of that unconventional letter formation. Um, the spelling is an issue. But again, at least we revol resolved the spacing. So the spacing between the words is very good. So again, even with the spelling issues, um, we can try to determine what he wants to say. Now to contrast that with, so this would be an example of if he's able to use text, I'm sorry, speech to text. So if he's able to dictate what he wants to say, um, his accuracy, his spelling is so much better. So I'm just gonna zoom out because he's a cool artist too. So put that up there, nice. So um, dictated from a model, that's why the spelling is so good. Um, and I'm going to include a video of him um, doing the speech to text using read and write by text help. And this is another example too of him when he can supplement his handwriting with using the speech to text. One, he's not so reluctant of a writer and two, he writes in more detail and three, we see the quality if he was to copy it, the quality is much better. So the girl gets her sleeping bag, she uh, rolls it out, she unzips it, she gets in it. So um, my notes to myself at the bottom were copied in handwriting after voice typing into Google Doc. Very accurate with voice typing with reminders to say period. He copied it 100% correctly and independently. Um, I said, then I said, oops, he did forget one period. So um, again, we see the, when we address the written expression from all these different angles, um, we can get a positive result from our students. So with, uh, with this student, we are working on the handwriting, we're working on spacing, we're working on the unconventional letter formation, um, the visual supports for him are very important, and I'll show you that in the video clip. When he's doing um, some speech to text, he uses picture cues, again, just to get 
comfortable with speaking into the computer and getting accurate, that practice piece. But we've also been using more graphic organizers too to make him not so reluctant to get his thoughts on paper. And then finally, getting very good with the speech to text word prediction. So we supplement that handwriting with the assistive technology so we can keep him moving forward and uh, again, keep being expanding his ability to add more detail and more thoughts um, and express more of his knowledge on a given subject. The boy goes on the diving board, period. The boy jumps off, period. The boy is in the water, period. The boy swims, period.